Hello again, this is Neil from Polypop Live and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and customize your channel point rewards in Polypop Live. Before we start, let me just explain that channel points are like a currency your viewers can earn by watching your channel and then spend them to unlock rewards you offer them. And it could be a funny reward, you know, like drink water for example, or here's a something I created for Halloween. So when enough channel points are being sent by the viewers, this alert is being triggered and tells me I need to eat some candy corn. So before we start learning how to create these alerts in Polypop, let's go to Twitch and learn how to set it up over there. Here we are in Twitch, but before we go on, there are two important things you should know. The first is that in order to use channel points, you need to either be an affiliate or a partner in Twitch. The second is you need to be logged into Twitch. So log in Twitch and then go to your icon on the top right and click on it. In the drop down menu, click on the creator dashboard. Inside the creator dashboard, go to the left and under the stream manager, click on the viewer rewards. Choose channel points in the drop down menu. Under channel points, click the third option, manage rewards and challenges. And here, click the second option, click the create custom reward. The first thing you'll do is to give the reward whichever name you want. I'm going to give mine the name Candy Corn. Now you have to enter an amount. This is the amount of points that's going to trigger this alert. I'm going to randomly click 10,000 points. And that's it. Just click the create. You can see it here and we're ready to go back to Polypop. Okay, so we are back in Polypop and in order to see the alert we just created in Twitch, we will need to connect to Twitch. In order to do that, I will go to the source library on the left, click on the plus button here and choose Twitch from the drop down menu. Here is Twitch. Now I will look at the Twitch properties and if I go down to the bottom of them, I can see I have a channel points option. I will click on the plus button, I will go down a bit more and there you go i can see my candy corn alert ready to be created so let's do that let's create an alert for the candy corn reward which means that whenever the goal that we set which was 10,000 points is reached this alert will be triggered let's start with something simple i would just add a text that will say eat candy in order to do that i will go to the scene layout click on the plus button here go to the 3d option under the categories and double click the 3d text so now i have a 3d text let's change its properties here i under text i will write eat candy i can change the font color and all kind of other properties i'll do it really quickly now i think this is good enough for now so let's connect the alert and make it show the text whenever it's being triggered to do that, I will pull a wire from the custom reward alert, from the candy corn alert, and connect it to the action sequence that appears here. Let's do it again. I'm gonna pull a wire, the action sequence appears, and I'm connecting my wire to this socket. Now that the wire is connected, I can start building the sequence. So I will click on the plus button here in the action sequence and add a meet alert. I will connect that to the text and once I pull a wire from here, I see the options here, I will connect it to the visible one, I have option and we set set to on. That means that whenever the alert is being triggered, the text will be visible. I will click the plus button again in the action sequence, I will tell it to wait. The default is one second, I will change it to five seconds. I will again click the plus button, emit alert, again I will pull a wire, connect it to visible and turn it to set to off. So let's check it out. First let me remove this window so we can see what happens better. And then I'm going to make this text invisible because remember the alert actually makes it visible. I will go to visible, change it to invisible and let's see. I will go here on the left and click the on redeem to simulate what happens when the alert is being triggered so there you go the text appears wait five seconds and then disappears and if you want to create a more interesting alert you can just add more objects to it let's do something similar to what i showed you before i'm going to click here on the scene layout on the plus button 
I'm going to add a 3D object emitter. I'm going to select my candy corn here. Now I have my emitter. I'm going to set it up to 100 candy corn. So let me change the value here to 100 and burst count also 100. So let's click on emit burst and see what happens. Yeah, they're kind of big. I rather them to be a bit smaller than this. So I will expand the object, 3D object, transform and make the value a bit smaller. Something like that. Yep. Now I'll connect my alert to this emitter. And this is, remember, this is the first thing that happens when the alert is being triggered. I will take the same socket that actually makes the text visible and connect it to emit burst. So let's see now what happens when the alert is being triggered. I will click on the on redeemed. So we have eat candy and these candies are falling down, but they're staying there forever. So I will go here to the meter and we'll change the lifetime from infinity to five seconds. Let's clear them and check it out again. I'm going to click the alert. So they appear, they're falling down and they stay for five seconds. Before I go, let me show you just how to quickly tweak the candy corn properties and make them float when they appear. In order to do that, I will expand the object properties and the mods. And here you see the float option. I will enable it. So now the candy corns will float whenever they appear. Let's check it out. I will click in on redeemed. And as you can see, they are floating around. Um, maybe I'll move them down a little bit so they will not block the text. And now let's check the alert again. I'm going to click on unredeemed. Eat candy. And there you go. So now you know how to use your channel points to create custom rewards in Polypop. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.